So what we're going to be looking at right now is the T lymphocytes and just a little bit of revision to T lymphocytes. Um, I mentioned it in a previous video that they are formed in the bone marrow, but they mature in a particular organ known as the thymus. That is why we refer to these particular cells as T lymphocytes. The first important thing that you have to know about these particular types of lymphocytes is there are two types of T lymphocytes, which are known as T helper lymphocytes and T killer lymphocytes. Sometimes in the exam, they may refer to them as T helper cells and T killer cells. They mean the same thing. You can use both terms in the exam. You'll be fine. Now, the main thing to know about the T helper lymphocytes and the T killer lymphocytes, they also have receptors complementary to antigens just like B lymphocytes. If you remember in the previous video, I said to you that B lymphocytes have their receptors um, on their cell surface membrane and they will react accordingly to complementary antigens or matching antigens. So if T helper cells and T killer cells also have receptors, um, what makes them different? Well, the obvious answer is their immune response or how they react to antigens. So what we're going to do is we're going to look at T killer lymphocytes first. What are the functions of the T killer lymphocytes? When I ask my students this question, they will, be, they will look at the word killer and they will assume, ah, what the lymphocytes do is they will kill pathogens directly. So my students will say that the T killer lymphocytes will directly meet with the pathogen where their receptors are complementary with the antigens, and then they will immediately kill the pathogen. You know, simple as that. But here's the weird thing. That is not exactly what happens. The T killer lymphocytes do not kill the pathogens directly. What they're supposed to do is they are tasked to kill our own body cells. Then you might be thinking, why in the world would my T killer lymphocytes kill my own body cells? That does not make any sense. Well, let's look at a situation here. I'm drawing out a tissue, a group of similar cells. Let's say, let's say as an example, these are like, you know, some skin cells. And, you know, the skin cells are grouped together, so they form something known as a tissue. All right. Now, imagine for a second that one of the skin cells became mutated. What exactly is mutation? It is when the gene undergoes a random change in the base sequence. And sometimes when gene undergoes uh, random changes in the base sequence, they form something called oncogenes. This is chapter 5, by the way. And when they form oncogenes, the cell becomes a cancer cell. And what's the characteristic of cancer cells? They may uncontrollably divide. And when they divide, they might press on the other cells and they might cause a tissue damage, as we have discussed this in Chapter 5. Uh, sometimes what may happen is the pathogen may infect your cells and when they infect your cell, your cell is forced to produce more pathogens within the cytoplasm and the pathogens may spread to other cells and we don't want this to happen. So we have an infected cell and we have a cancer cell here and they are now a problem. So the function of the T killer lymphocyte is to kill off any infected cells in your body or even any cancer cells in your body by the way. Hence the term killer. They don't kill pathogens directly. That's not what they do. They, their function is to patrol around our body, around our tissues, and look for infected cells and cancer cells. And if they find these infected cells and cancer cells, their function is to kill those cells, which are technically your own cells, by the way. All right? But by killing these cells, it prevents the other tissue, the other cells in your tissue from being damaged. So that's a good thing. Now, here's the thing that is very important that we have to know. How does the killer cell know which cell to kill? Because you can't just give the T killer lymphocyte a gun and just tell it to, hey, you know, go wild. Okay, just go kill as many cells as possible. You don't want that to happen because that will cause damage to your body. Um, 
So the T killer cell needs to know which cells are infected or which cells are cancerous. Uh, so we are just going to focus on the infected cells for this time. Okay, so for example, over here, you can see nine cells which are forming a tissue and the pathogen infects one of the body cell. And when it infects one of the body cell, which I've highlighted in red, okay, you can see the pathogens in the cell, they are proliferating or reproducing within the cell. The infected cell does something extremely important. The infected cell knows that it has no chance of survival. And if this process continues, the pathogen may spread to the other cells. So what it does is the infected cell will present the antigens on its cell surface membrane. So when it presents the antigens on the cell surface membrane, this is known as antigen presentation. So why is this important? Because when the T killer lymphocytes are nearby, look at the four T killer lymphocytes that I'm drawing over here. Will all four of them respond to the cell? No, because each T killer lymphocyte has a specific shaped receptor. So the first T killer lymphocyte cannot react, uh, cannot bind to the antigen. It is not complementary. Second one is also not complementary. Third one is also not complementary. Okay, the third one is also not complementary. And what about the fourth one? And the fourth one here, the receptor on the T killer cell is complementary to the antigen that is presented. This process is known as same thing, clonal selection. We saw this with B lymphocytes as well. Okay, so the similarity is the clonal selection happens as per usual with the antigen and the T killer lymphocytes are stimulated. And when they are stimulated, they will undergo clonal expansion, just like B lymphocytes, by the way. And when they undergo clonal expansion, they will form something known as a group of activated T killer cells and a group of memory T killer cells. All right. The difference with B lymphocyte is uh, the B lymphocytes formed plasma cells and memory B lymphocytes, but here it becomes activated T killer cells and memory T killer cells. The function of the activated T killer cell, look at it. It binds to the cell with the complementary antigens and it releases chemicals into the cell. And when it releases cytotoxic chemicals, you don't have to memorize that term cytotoxic, but it's good to understand it. The T killer cells will release something called cytotoxic chemicals and they, these chemicals will kill off your infected cells. And that's a good thing. So as you can see, when it kills off the cell, it also destroys the pathogens within the cell. So it prevents the pathogens from spreading to other parts of the body. And in this case over here, when the cell dies, the cell undergoes a process known as apoptosis, and then your phagocytes will just come and munch it all away. Okay, but you don't have to know that in detail. Don't worry about that. Uh, and the other cells are safe. Okay, so what the activated T killer cells will do is the they will patrol the tissue to remove all the other infected cells that are present in the area. And of course, what's the function of the memory T killer cells? In the future, they will, they will produce a faster response towards infected body cells and they will eradicate any infected cells that you may have in your body. Simple as that. This is what we have to know about the function of the T killer lymphocytes. They are supposed to react only to infected cells because the infected cells will present the antigens on the cell on the cell surface membrane. It undergoes clonal selection due to the complementary receptors of the T lymphocytes. The T lymphocytes or the T killer cells will undergo clonal expansion and form activated T killer cells and memory T killer cells. And the activated T killer cells will basically destroy any infected cells in the vicinity, keeping your other cells safe.